What's up everybody, Old Man Smithers here. On chapter three of the Heroes and Generals Flying Tutorial, we're gonna be covering two things. One, we're gonna be covering the controls and we're gonna talk about the debug controls. It's always a hot topic for a lot of people. And two, we're gonna be covering the planes that you use those controls in. So we're gonna be taking a look at the P-38 and the 109, talking about the pros and cons of each, dispelling a couple of myths that absolutely drive me crazy, and also looking at the ammo that each of them can carry. So stick around, we're getting into it now. Okay guys, what we're looking at here is just your standard uh, input controls. So whenever you hit escape and you just hit input, this is what you're looking at. You'll notice my mouse sensitivity is turned down a little bit. I like that fine control. This is important to me. Uh, the invert mouse is also selected. Uh, just because it's airplane controls, I need those for airplane controls because nothing screws me up faster than not having those. Uh, and then here we're looking at also the, the controls themselves, like the actual keyboard bindings. Sorry for the potato quality. I had to do this in OBS just because I, I need the overlay, the keyboard overlay. So this is what we got. But we can still read everything, so it's cool, right? So you'll notice that most of this is pretty much uh, standard. Um, we're, we're looking at the only thing really changed is the plane camera control plane camera control is set to my mouse button number five because I need to hit that with my thumb so that's this button on my mouse I needed something that I could use the, the, the camera with my right hand so my left hand is still doing what it's doing but then I can just hold down that right and then I can look around the camera is incredibly important whenever you're dog fighting so we're gonna talk about that a little bit more the only thing that else has really changed is that plane debug control. You'll notice that plane debug control, it's normally left control, which is like really awkward on the pinky. I changed that to left shift because I needed that to be able to, to just not even think about it. Just hit it and not have any cramping or anything like that. Sounds, sounds sad, right? I don't want to cramp my pinky finger on the game, but it actually happens. So left shift is, is just incredibly easy to hit. So that's why I shifted it, or I changed it from left control to shift. I suggest you do the same, play around with it though, see what else works. The only thing that you can't see on here that I changed is, uh, you know how you hit E and it bails out of your plane at the most awesome time? I changed that to control number pad five. I never hit that thing by accident and no more rage, or at least no more rage due to bailing. Okay, so let's talk about debug controls. Debug controls are actually what allows one button to have two different functions. So for W and A, I'm gonna show you here in just a second, like W and S, uh, it either speeds you up or slows you down normally. But if you hold down the debug control, which is left shift because you did what I asked you to, right? You remapped that thing. Uh, now it can make your plane go up and down, which we're gonna have a demonstration here in just a second. Uh, so that's all it basically does. Now I want you to take a look in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen here. What we got here is a keyboard overlay, very high speed keyboard overlay, but you know, props to the guy that made it because it helps me out here. I'm gonna do things on the keyboard in this uh, example and it'll show up here so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna start up the video and I'm, hes I'm hitting S and W, I'm slowing down and speeding up. Now I'm hitting A and D, I'm going left and right, right? This is normal. Now watch what happens when I hit the left shift button. Left shift button now is a debug control. So whenever I hit W and S, I go up and down. You see how cool that is? Now I hit A and D and I, I roll left and to the right. So you add that with like, you roll to the left and you press down S and then all of a sudden you're making these really smooth turns. Look at that, like butter. So this is how you dogfight because if you're in the middle of a dogfight, the guy that's sitting there doing the little mouse thing, doing like this, he's gonna die. Whereas you're just gonna get a perfect line on him. So, and I just threw this in for bonus. This is my P-38 sniper cannon. You shoot paraplanes and the little pilot dies. Look at that. He goes, no, and he falls to the ground. Paraplane goes down, saves you a ton of time. So I thought that was rather, really rather cool, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was cool. Screw you guys. Anyway, that's the uh, debug controls. And as you can see, Tree Hugger here, trying to live up to his name. It allows you to do a lot of very cool things. It allows a lot more maneuverability than you normally would. You need to use the debug controls. So hopefully that answered the questions out there. So now that we talked about the controls, let's talk about the planes you're gonna be using them on. Uh, there are only two planes in the game right now. This might change in the future, but right now the US has the P-38 Lightning and the Germans have the 109, uh, the 109E if you really wanna be technical about it. Now. One thing I want to get out of the way right now, put it to rest. I, I, I swear I'm so sick of seeing it in the forums. Both planes function 
the exact same. As far as performance goes, they are identical. That has been reinforced time and time again in the dev streams. They've come out and said it. Uh, there are differences to the planes. There are strengths and weaknesses to the planes, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. But as far as performance goes, they are the same. They turn the same. They accelerate the same. They, they dive the same. So if you get outturned, it's because you have allowed yourself to get outturned. There is no, oh, he's flying a 109. Okay. So the P-38, let's talk about that. You see these cannons right here on the P-38? This is a strength for the P-38. So you have the two cannons uh, right by the three machine guns, the two cannons, the ones on top. Those are sniper cannons. You saw in that last video when I shot down the paraplane, that's pretty freaking cool, right? So as you can see right here as well, we've got uh, a, a 109s flying away. You can just reach out and touch those guys, but you have to know how to do it, which we're gonna talk about in the, the HE uh, dogfighting video. Uh, another potential uh, pro for this is the bombs. Now. The P-38 starts with two bombs, whereas the BF-109 only starts with one. So that, that's great, right? But there's a catch. Now, the P-38's bombs are actually offset. So you'll see them on each side of the fuselage. This makes precision bombing a little bit harder because like the 109, you can put a 109 bomb into a door or a window once you get good with it. And we're gonna cover bombing soon. But for the P-38, because it's offset, you have to know which bomb you're going to drop. So as you can see, it, it's actually like, you have to know if the left bomb is going to drop. Uh, you can see a picture of that here. If the left bomb is going to drop, uh, then you have to know that for a fact whenever you're going in for your bombing run. Because if you're trying to bomb an AA gun or something uh, with surrounded by sandbags, and if you just try and use the middle of the, the plane as a reference, you're going to miss. So that's both a pro and a con for the Lightning. Now, obviously, the Lightning, having that extra bomb also pays dividends later on whenever you have the bombs away. Remember that badge we talked about last time? The bombs away badge gives you extra bombs. So at gold bombs away, you actually have three extra bombs. You start off with two, that's a grand total of five bombs. That's awesome, right? I mean, that's that's awesome. The 109 only has, uh, starts off with one bomb. So even with gold bombs away, you only have four. Of course, the 109 does have a faster reload. It's 60 seconds instead of 90 seconds for the P-38. So they do offset that. Now, as far as the, the weaknesses of the P-38, P-38 does have a little bit of issues with its tail. So as you can see from it, and I'm going to show you a video in just a second, uh, the, the tail, it's like a goal post and machine gun fire goes right in between there to hit that cockpit that's circled. So you do have to watch out for that. You can't let a 109 just sit back there. A 109, on the other hand, they've got that big tail, so he'll sit there and stay if they're smart. They'll keep that tail between you and them. As you just saw, you can still shoot them with judicious use of the machine guns, which again, we're going to talk about in the, the dogfighting. Uh, video, but for now the P-38 does have that disadvantage. It's also a little bit bigger. It's like a truck, you know, in the air. It's easier to see. It's easier to shoot. So that's another thing that you have to watch out for. Uh, it's a little bit more unforgiving for the new pilot than the 109 is. The 109 is a little bit easier to start off with. So you don't have to worry about wingspan and all that other fun stuff with the 109. So let's talk about the 109 in a little bit more detail here. Okay, so now we're looking at a Messerschmitt BF 109E-4. Uh, this is the, the German plane, obviously. You'll notice very quickly that bomb right underneath the main fuselage. We've talked about that. The P-38 has the offset. This has a bomb directly under. It's very easy to do precision bombing with the 109, especially whenever you're first getting started. So that's a pro. However, the con, you'll notice on the, the wings, you see those cannons on the wings? Remember the, how the P-38 had the cannons right on the nose and then had the machine guns underneath? The 109 has machine guns on the nose, so that remains the same, but the cannons are actually on each wing and you have one on each. So here's the deal with that. The P-38 is my favorite plane because of the fact it's like a sniper cannon. You get two rounds very close together. Whatever I aim at, two rounds are gonna hit it. With the 109, I can aim at something and one round might hit, but one round might just barely nudge him. So I get a lot more wounds versus kills with the 109. It's not insurmountable. I mean, you have to, once you learn, you, you sort of shimmy the, the mouse a little bit. So now it takes a little bit more ammo, but you're actually putting more rounds on target than you would on the P-38. So it, it, just something to think about there. Uh, if you're wounding a lot, it's probably because of the fact that you're not putting both rounds on target. So you need to kind of move your mouse around a little bit and maybe have two bursts instead of one. I use a little bit more HE on the 109 than I do on the P-38 because those cannons, those are your heavy hitters. So now let's talk about the actual ammo itself. There's two types of ammo, which you can get to by going and double clicking on the, the window and then going down to modify uh, vehicle. You'll see here I already have mine selected, but most of the time you would just hit plus. You're looking at the APCR right now. This is the incendiary ammo. This is really good against tanks. It's really good against shooting down planes, like taking them down, catching them on fire and shooting them down. 
It's not very good against uh, infantry. You can hit infantry on the ground with it if you're a good shot, but it's kind of a waste. Uh, it's mainly there for anti-armor, anti-planes, sending them down. We're going to talk about this in the dogfighting videos. So don't worry about it. The other uh, kind of ammo is the HE, the high explosive. These are the ones that pop people out of pilots. A lot of beginner pilots love the HE just because of the fact that uh, you only one or two shots on a cockpit and you've killed the pilot. So the plane's perfectly good and it falls to the ground and crashes, but the pilot's already dead. You saw in the last video the paraplane went down because of HE. Same thing. Uh, it's good against ground targets. Infantry, people in jeeps, you can shoot them out of the jeeps very easily because as soon as it hits the target, it explodes, so you get that blast damage. So that's something else to think about. So just remember for now, APCR is the anti-armor, uh, anti or armor penetration, anti-armor, and it shoots down planes. And the HE kills the pilots of the planes, and it's good for ground targets. Remember those two things, you're going to be good. Well, that's it, guys. We covered the controls. We covered uh, the plane comparisons. We covered the cannon ammo. We're running up on that 10 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now. But the next video is going to be all about the bombing. Uh, the video after that is going to be HE dogfighting. The video after that is going to be APCR dogfighting. So we got a lot of good stuff to look forward to. You might be wondering what you're looking at right now. I got this the other night. I was giggling like a little schoolgirl, So I wanted to share it with everybody. You see this it's 100 kills to eight deaths. Now, you see I have a sniper rifle because I needed to get those last four kills to get my hundreds. I was sitting at 96 and 4 whenever my plane got shot down. So, give you something to reach towards. If you can get good with a pilot, the level of devastation you can bring on the battlefield is outstanding. Eh, you know, hearing the cries and lamentations of the women running down on the ground beneath you, it's a great feeling. So, I'll see y'all next video. Oh, you like video games? I like video games too. In fact, I like making videos of video games. So if you like what you saw here and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also catch me on Facebook, Twitter, or OldManSmithersGaming.com, all of which will let you know whenever I'm online and streaming. Also, make sure you check out some of the videos that we have here. We have other tutorials. We have some Let's Plays. It's just all about having fun. So appreciate y'all joining me. Hope to see you around.